Hello, beautiful women! I'm back! For those who don't know me yet, I'm Nacho Stacchio and I'm a transition coach and I help immigrant women to feel empowered whatever they are. For those who are following me for a while, you maybe realize that I didn't post um, videos for the last two months and it was a hard decision but I needed to do that because I was in Italy and I had to choose to fully emerge myself in that culture and in my husband's family and, and just to experience and understand as much as I could from that culture and to learn that language or I could keep working hard as I was before and not experience as much as I could of that culture. It was a hard decision because I love my work and I would love to be here every week and put a lot of content for you all but I had to decide and I took a break from the videos but I'm back! I'm in Seattle and I'm so happy I'm here so many things are coming and now it's a work time Seattle is kind of my home and uh, I love to work here so you are gonna be hearing a lot more about my work, myself, my stories. So this video is a little bit, um, this video is like an update for you so you can know a little bit what my plans are for right now, what are the things that I'm planning to share with you. And um, so this is an update video. As I have a lot of things to share um, and I don't want to make those videos too long I'm gonna do a short series of five videos and I'm gonna share different parts of my experiences being in Italy with you all and not just you know like random experiences um, I'm gonna choose some of the experiences to share um, because I'm not just sharing experience here for the sake of sharing I believe on the power of sharing true experiences and things that can inspire and help other women and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share four things, four stories with you that happened with me in Italy that maybe will inspire you and help you to take action in your life. So this, uh, so this next uh, week what I'm gonna share with you is about my experience of readapting in a new culture. Um, I was in Italy for three months, so I could fully immerse myself in that culture. I was speaking in Italian all the time, and I was trying to figure out where I, where was my place um, in that culture, in that family. Um, and I'm gonna share with you. Um, what happened and what it felt like to me to adapt in a new culture. I had to adapt in the American culture and when I went to Italy I was trying to adapt in the Italian culture and it was a very fun, interesting, powerful, meaningful experience that I will share with you next week. And uh, my next video after that is gonna be about some challenges of being in Italy for three months. Um, a lot of people would say, no. Archie, it's like a dream, you're gonna, you were saying that there were challenges there, you were in Italy, you were in, no in the European paradise. Um, yeah, I was, and I was very happy to be there, but there were many challenging feelings, moments, things that I was experiencing and I was in really figuring out in the beginning and I'm gonna share with you and I'm gonna share with you how I started taking action um, so I, I did a very meaningful experience there which was a pellegrination and it was called Via Francigena and I'm gonna share with you some of this experience it was very meaningful I walked 50 kilometers in two days and it really changed a lot of my perspective in terms of many things while I was there. On the third video, I'm going to share with you about my second time doing a Vipassana course, a Vipassana meditation course. I did in Tuscany and uh, I did with my mother-in-law and it was very meaningful and very different to take the 10-day course for a second time. 
and as I realized that my first video about Vipassana meditation was so popular and a lot of people were interested um, even some girls sent me a message saying they were going to take the 10 day course and I was very grateful for that. I decided also to share how was my experience going to the course for the second time. And the fourth video, which is gonna be the total of five because this is the first video of the series. The last video is gonna be about coming back to Seattle, changing and shifting again, coming to the US one more time, coming back here, um, not having a home. Now I'm a digital nomad. I think I can call myself an official digital nomad by now because I don't have a fixed base and at this moment and um, and I'm gonna share with you my feelings about it and um, what I'm doing to to keep up with my work um, it's very challenging and I'm really working on it trying to make it happen and I'm gonna share with you because I know many of you are thinking of you know different ways to work different things that you can do to to grow in your career or to be more free so this is gonna be the series i hope you watch all of them well, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet please do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications so every time that i post the next video you can already see and and just go watch you don't have to remind yourself to to go to youtube and and open my page to watch the video so this is gonna make your life easier and you're gonna be updated of all the information i post here on the channel another thing that is coming up that i'm very excited for it's a series of interviews with very inspiring immigrant women and this is gonna be just for the people who subscribe for it and this is coming up soon so i don't have the links yet for you to click but i want you to be aware that very soon some very inspiring interviews are coming up so you can you know know other immigrant women who are achieving amazing things here in the us and that's it this is an update video I'm officially back. I'm very happy to be back. I'm very happy to be here. If you want to talk to me or if you are curious to know more about my work as a life coach, as a transition coach, uh, please send me an email, send me a message on Facebook or here on YouTube. I will be happy to talk to you. I have a free um, discovery call and it would be great to get to know you better to give you some tips and maybe who knows to work with you so that's it for today I hope you are doing amazing things in your life and I see you guys next week beijos and bye bye